Professor Master of the ADA in San Diego, um, the results of the uh, DEVOTE trial were presented. Can you summarize them for us? Sure. So DEVOTE was a, a very large cardiovascular outcome trial of patients with type 2 diabetes who were at very high risk for cardiovascular events. We enrolled um, over 7,600 patients, and they were ra randomized in a blinded fashion to either insulin degladec or insulin glargine. We followed the patients for about two years. Now, there were two objectives. One was to establish that degladec was as safe as insulin glargine from a cardiovascular perspective, um, and the second was to test whether it was as safe as or safer than uh, glargine with respect to severe hypoglycemia. So with respect to the first question, is it as safe as with respect to cardiovascular outcomes, it, it clearly was. I mean, the, the hazard ratio is 0.91. Um, there were numerically fewer cardiovascular events in the patients randomized to Degladec, but it didn't reach statistically significant, so I think it's the same as or safe as. With respect to severe hypoglycemia, um, Degladec was superior to glargine with respect to severe hypoglycemic episodes. Now, in DEVOTE, we used the ADA definition. Uh, we adjudicated severe hypoglycemia, so we were pretty confident that these were clinically meaningful hypoglycemic events. So I think those are the, the two main takeaways um, from the two uh, findings. You know, there's a 40% reduction in severe hypoglycemia and, and over a 50% in nocturnal severe hypoglycemia. Mm -hmm. okay. um, given the that hypoglycemia and cardiovascular events are sort of connected or speculated about that. Could you uh, explain why with a reduction in hypoglycemia there was no um, reduction yeah. in cardiovascular events? Sure, so it would be really speculative for me mm. to say for sure, um, but I think that there's clearly an association between severe hypoglycemia and cardiovascular complications. And it may be um, that in a frail, um, high-risk population actually it precipitates important cardiovascular events, and that, that's probably true. But there are so many other causes of cardiovascular complications in people with diabetes that it's going to take a very focused analysis um, for us to, to figure out if there's an interaction between prevention of hypoglycemia and cardiovascular complications. So I think, um, stay tuned, I think we're going to look at this and we may hopefully have more information at Lisbon um, at the EASD. It's certainly a top priority of our one of our sub-studies. Mm -hmm. um, even more speculation, can you speculate uh, what would have happened if you used plotting U300 instead yeah. of the U100? So, it, you know, it, it's hard to know because you'd have to do the clinical trial, but my, my sense is, is that it would be very similar findings to what we found now. I mean, I think the two molecules are are very different, and, it's, you know, and the half-life is are different, and their variability is different, and, and my gut feeling is we would have found the same finding, frankly. But it's speculative because we didn't mm -hmm. use U300, as you know. Okay. Thank you very much. Yep, you bet. Thanks. Yeah.